Hello, in today's video, we will learn how to add an app icon and a Flutter native splash screen to our app. So this is the app that we are going to use. Um, I'm going to stop this right now. I'm going to stop this. And then the first step that we are going to do is that um, we are going to create a directory for the icons and then for we to do that we would click right click on our project name navigate to new and then we would click on directory we are going to name that our directory assets and then let's press enter key on our keyboard all right so inside our asset directory we are going to create an, another directory um i've right click on assets let's navigate to new and then directory let's type icons as a directory name and then let's press enter key on our keyboard so now we have created two directories the first is the assets directory and the second is the icons directory now we are going to copy our icons so the app icon is the first icon on the list right here and the second is the icon that we are going to use inside our splash screen so we are going to highlight this and then we are going to right click then we're going to click on show more options and then copy all right so let's open our android studio and then um we are going to right click on our icons directory then we are going to click on paste so guys um if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell if you like the video click on the like button so before i forget currently we are using android studio um for this project i believe that that is what you're currently using so we have pasted our icons in the icon directory so what we're going to do right now we have this pop-up dialog box here we are going to click on ok all right, so let's expand this to check if our icons has been pasted. All right, so we have this right there. So the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to open our web browser and then we are going to type on the address bar, we are going to type pop.dev and press enter to load the website. And then inside the search packages text box, we are going to type flutter icon launcher so we're going to press enter key on our keyboard so the first item on the list is flutter underscore launcher underscore icons so let's right click on this open link in new tab we are going to come back here and then this time around we are going to search for flutter splash okay so we are going to hit enter key on our keyboard and the first on the list is flutter underscore native on that's called splash so we're going to right click this open link in new tab so um we are going to start with the flutter launcher icons and then after that then we're going to add our flutter native splash screen so for the flutter native um splash screen once you load your app and the splash screen is going to display um, probably a few seconds and then before your app loads okay so let's go back to our web browser and then here we are going to start with the flutter icon launcher um for the purpose of this demo i like using the version 10 so we're going to click on the version tab and then i'm going to select um the version 10 all right so on the readme we are going to copy this um packages this package right there then i'm going to copy it i'm going to right click and then copy and then i'm going to open my android studio here i'm going to navigate to popspec.yam i'm going to 
double click on it to open all right so let's minimize this uh, emulator then here i'm going to scroll right to down to div dependencies i'm going to click here then let's press enter on our keyboard i'm going to navigate um a little bit in front okay just to have the proper alignment here yeah, i'm going to paste my dependencies okay so now i'm going to go back to my web browser and then i'm going to copy this footer underscore icons i'm going to copy this right here and then i'm going to right click on it then i'm going to click on copy okay i'm going to go back to my android studio here i'm going to press this then i'm going to indent backwards then i'm going to paste this all right so um when we created the web view for our app um we didn't use the web and the windows but we are just going to leave it here for the purpose of this demo okay so before we begin to change the image path to our um, app icon we are going to navigate to assets so i'm going to look for assets I'm going to look for assets so we are going to uncomment this all right where we have assets and then images slash a dot ball and images slash a dot ham so we are going to um uncomment this i'm going to un uncomment this also i'm going to uncomment this then i'm going to condense this to have the proper alignment and then we don't this need this so i'm just going to leave that as it is or probably i'm going to delete this okay so for this if you check in our project directory we have assets and then icons so we are going to rename this to assets and then forward slash i'm going to take this out then this is going to be icons and then forward slash all right so we're going to navigate back to our diff dependencies now right inside our image part um we are going to change this this is going to be icons assets slash icons and then slash app icon so the app icon is a uh, um dot p dash png app icon sorry app dash icon dot png is the app icon name for um our app icon okay so we are going to copy this this is part to our app icon we are going to copy this then i'm going to scroll down then let's change the image part for the web i'm going to change the image part also we're going to change the image part for windows I'm going to paste this then let's save okay so we're going to screw up to check what we have done all right now we are going to um, go to our terminal click on our terminal and then we are going to run flutter pop get let's press enter key on our keyboard so here is going to get all the dependencies okay so let's go back to our web browser we're going to open our web browser and then here we are going to run this command going to run this command and copy it i'm going to click on android studio and then right inside the terminal i'm going to paste this command so i'm going to run this to create our icons all right so successfully um, generated launcher icons okay so now we are going to add our app um, flutter native splash screen so for you to do that we are going to um, scroll down let's check the versions let's check the versions I like using um, I'm going to do with version 2.11 so I'm going to click on this okay so i'm going to scroll down all right so i'm going to copy this and to copy 
Then I'm going to open my Android Studio. I'm going to minimize this terminal. Then here I'm going to right click. Sorry, I'm going to go to my dependencies, div dependencies. Then I'm going to press enter key on my keyboard. Now let's paste the dependencies. Then let's press enter key on our keyboard. Let's align in front a little bit. Then the next we're going to do is we are going to copy this. We are going to copy this um, flutter underscore native splash screen. I'm going to copy this. And then um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go back to my Android Studio. I'm going to paste this. And then let's press enter key on our keyboard. And then our color. So now this color is going to be like a background, okay, for the um, splash screen where our logo will just, you know, be placed on the middle. So the color that you're going to use is going to be white. So the color code for white is hash, then FFFFFF into six places. That's the color code for white. Okay, so next is going to be our image part. Now, our image part is going to be assets and then forward slash icons and then forward slash the um, this is the icon that we're going to use. Okay, let's open it. All right, so this is the dummy icon that we're going to use for our splash screen. So we are going to add that right here logo dot png all right so i'm going to save this now let me show you the app icon this is the dummy app icon that we're going to use okay for this project now let's go back to our prospect.yam okay so we've added this now we are going to add android so android is going to be two so we are going to set android to true Okay, and then we are going to set iOS also as true. Okay, so now we have done this. Um, let's let's save this, and then let's um, open our terminal, and then we are going to clear this, and then we are going to clean all the packages. Flutter clean enter okay so now we are going to run pop get so i'm going to type flutter pop get let's press enter key on our keyboard so here is going to get all the new dependencies all right so we are going to run the icon launcher yeah, it's going to create icons for our, our for our splash screen. All right, so now we are going to go back to our splash um, screen settings. Now we're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down, and then here yeah, we are going to copy this command to create the splash screen. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on copy. Then let's open our Android Studio right inside the terminal. Paste this command and then press Enter key on your keyboard to run the command. All right, native splash screen completed. So let's test our app to see the splash screen. Here I'm going to my emulator is already open, so I'm just going to click on it. All right, so I'm going to run the main.dat. Let's minimize this so that we can see it clearly. So if it's the first time that you're running the Gradle, um, it's going to take some time um, before the APK will be loaded um, on your um, Android device, that's your emulator. So let's wait for it.
if it's successful the splash screen is going to display for some seconds before the app will be loaded so that's the splash screen that's the splash screen it will display for some seconds then before the app will be loaded so we are using the web view so it's going to try to load the url yes so um this is how to add a splash screen to your app now let's check our app icon so we are going to click on this home and then let's navigate to our home screen now this is our app icon so the app icon is actually a domain icon so that we uh we have used in this project so even the splash screen also is also a dummy um, we use a dummy icon of course so for you you're just going to get your icons and uh, the um, splash screen icon and then do the you know um, add those app icons and of course the um, splash screen if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell if you like the video click on the like button um, in my next video i'm going to show you how to generate a sign apk and also an app bundle for your app thank you so much for watching goodbye for now